Pursuant to Federal Rule of Civil Procedure 41 Alpha, Plaintiff Harmony Gold USA Incorporated and Defendants Hairbrain Schemes LLC, Hairbrained Holdings Incorporated, and Jordan Weisman, collectively the Hairbrain Defendants, by and through their respective counsel of record, stipulate and agree that all of plaintiff's claims against the Hairbrain Defendants are dismissed with prejudice without an award of fees or costs to any party. This stipulation does not affect plaintiff's claims against the remaining defendants in this lawsuit. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and that is it when it comes to the Harmony Gold lawsuit, at least insofar as Hairbrain Schemes and Jordan Wiseman are concerned. The lawsuit is, as we just read, dismissed with prejudice, which means that Harmony Gold can never bring this particular lawsuit involving the mech designs depicted by Hairbrain Schemes against them ever again. Now, just so we're clear, if Hairbrain Schemes later develops a game depicting one of the unseen, they may be back in this mess again, owing to the fact that Harmony Gold are the poster children for Lawsuits Are Us, but their current games are in the clear, which means the upcoming release of Hairbrain Schemes Battletech will go off without a hitch, and even though they still will not respond to my request for review code, I personally will look forward to playing and reviewing a Battletech game that is free of the shackles that Harmony Gold has attempted to impose on nearly every Battletech product for the last 25 years. But what does this mean for the other defendants? Bear in mind, this dismissal only applies to Hairbrain Schemes and Jordan Wiseman. We still have Piranha Games, In Meteoris Productions, and Doze 1 through 10, and we really haven't seen anything involving In Meteoris Productions and Doze 1 through 10 to this point. Well, in regards to Piranha Games, the battle will continue unabated. Harmony Gold is still pushing for a letter of request or a letter rogatory to be issued in order to coerce information that Harmony Gold realistically should have obtained to begin with, as currently they've been completely unable to establish a proper chain of custody when it comes to the overseas copyright and distribution rights surrounding the Big West mechs. Now, in response to Piranha Games' second motion for summary judgment, Jessica Stibbins Bina again has filed a declaration, and in the doing so has attempted to insert evidence into the case in such a manner that Piranha Games would not be able to respond in an appropriate fashion. As a result of this, what we have seen as of yesterday, April 13th, is a continuation of the back and forth between the prosecution and the defense. Piranha Games' attorney's response to the Bina Declaration was a motion to have basically the entire declaration stricken as being improper. Now, in that response, Piranha Games points out that while Harmony Gold claims that Tatsunoko is allegedly cooperative with Harmony Gold, Tatsunoko either holds no documentation in regards to transferred copyrights from Big West to Tatsunoko, or they will not release them for reasons of alleged confidentiality. In that response, Piranha Games states, It is plaintiff's burden to provide a chain of copyright ownership going back to the original author of the work, yet plaintiff fails to credibly explain why letters rogatory are needed to get documents that, if they exist, should already be in the possession of Tatsunoko. Plaintiff also fails to identify the documents it seeks. And what this means is that Harmony Gold has not shown a proper chain of custody to date, which, if they are unable to do so, means that their lawsuit has no ground to stand on, and it also correctly points out that Harmony Gold has shown no indication that they're even aware of what documents they need to obtain from Big West or Tatsunoko, who is, they are claiming, being cooperative with Harmony Gold, but yet at the same time, refusing to provide them with the documentation they need to be able to push this case forward. Now, if Harmony Gold is unable to furnish a proper chain of custody, if you'll forgive my constant use of that same phrase, then Piranha Games will be able to push through their motion for dismissal based on the grounds of lack of standing. However, we're still a long way off from that, I feel, as just yesterday, the document listing the dismissal of the case against Jordan Wiseman and Hairbrain Schemes was renoted by the judge, giving Harmony Gold until May 4th to show cause why the lawsuit against the defendants Doze 1 through 10 shouldn't be dismissed without prejudice citing a failure to prosecute. So given that, we could very well be facing months of this lawsuit against Piranha Games still to continue, but at the very least, Hairbrain Schemes has managed to tell Harmony Gold to go pound sand, and while this wasn't exactly the alpha strike against Harmony Gold we've all been hoping for, it was at least a through armor crit. But as always, please do let me know what you think down in the comments below, and while you're at it, I'm curious. What's your favorite mech that's pre-3050? I'm asking for a friend and in no way planning out future mech purchases for our Thursday night live streams of the Battletech tabletop role-playing game that airs at 5 p.m. Pacific on Thursday nights that I'm also in no way shamelessly shilling for at this very moment. It's just idle curiosity, I assure you. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time.